Money in cities, skylines too usually becomes a problem, especially in the early stages of the game. So I've compiled a list of 15 most efficient methods to solve all your money problems, and half of them I'll set up at zero population. This is aiming for gaming, and today we're aiming for money gaining. We will start with the most broken, unfair and incredibly fast method of gaining both money and experience – by spamming services. The idea behind this is to select the most efficient in cost to experience ratio service available and build multiple copies of that service. In our case, at level 0 it's undoubtedly the water pumping station or sewage outlet. The only thing we need to do is to place them, a lot of them. And with that we're getting to level 1. Did I say 1? I meant 2. Did I say 2? I meant… well, you've got the idea. Once you reach the level you want, simply turn on the bulldozer mode, hover on the first building to demolish, hold the left mouse button, highlight other buildings and destroy them at once. Keep in mind that you will lose 25% of the building cost this way, but we're unlocking new money-making methods much faster, which compensates for that. Also, destroying buildings does not reduce your experience, so the only thing you lose is some money. If you feel that this method is too OP, then I have news for you. At level 4 we're unlocking parks and, most importantly, a small playground. This building costs only 5000 cells, while providing us with 100 experience. This is literally a 5 times better ratio than what we had at the start. And here we must make a beautiful thing – outline a long road. Then start placing parks. Hundreds of them. Just watch this experience meter. And just look how amazing this looks. Once the road is filled, must delete all playgrounds and repeat the process. Your city level will go up, so will your budget. So do this as much as you want. I've been constantly asked about how to export water, and I agree that it's not clearly explained in the game. To do so, you must buy the tiles up to the corner of the map, then simply connect your pipe system with that corner and enjoy your water export. Selling electricity by unlocking geothermal or coal power plant is another method of getting income from almost nothing. Unlock them, place them, upgrade them and connect them to the power network, even with underground power lines, and that's it. Just make sure that if you prefer a geothermal power plant, its power output depends on the underwater coverage. Another money-making method is to let your citizens save as much money as they can and turn it into taxes instead. Simply draw 3x3 three three or 3x6 three buildings manually with gaps of the same size. Yep, it's like a checkmate. And let people build these houses, as they have the best balance rent-wise. Once the houses are built, draw the rest of them by filling in all the gaps at once and we're good. Later on the highest density buildings are the biggest if you outline 6x6 six six zones the same way. The next 4 tips work well on their own, but totally break the game when combined. Let me show you. First of all, people will need to get education, so instead of placing schools near their homes, move them far away. This will force people to use public transport a lot, which will turn into money. Next up, unlock, then build a parking lot at your residential district border. Here you can manually set parking fees to the maximum value, which will be your source of great income. But how to force people to use public transport? The easiest way is to let them have no other choice. Look, these one-way roads will not let people move between industrial and residential districts. They can go in, but not out. Now you must unlock trams. Connect two districts with a tram only, and this will be the only option for citizens to get to their jobs. Finally, the last part of our puzzle is outlining districts. Here we can apply policies such as energy consumption and roadside parking fees. The latter can be increased to 50 cells. People will still park there, but now they will have to pay. And now we can finally let our first citizens arrive. Just think of it, all we've done so far was built without a single citizen. All newcomers must now get to their jobs or school, but they can do it only by using a car. Then park at either a roadside, which costs 50 cells, or in our parking lot, which also costs 50 cells. At this point they must use trams to simply get to the other district. You can even raise the ticket cost for your trams. And here they can use a car, walk, or, if you want, you can place a bus network for even more income. 
and all your citizens must follow these steps, generating a ridiculous amount of income. Look, I've got a positive value with all my services placed, insane! Just don't forget to add a route for exporting the goods you produce – docks, cargo stations or even roads. By the way, if you are enjoying the video so far, lending your precious like would be my best reward. In any scenario, if you are facing money issues, you can take loans. They become bigger at later stages of the game. If you don't have enough money to reach a new milestone, just take a loan and place some playgrounds and you're good. Budget cut works here as well. For example, you don't need fully utilized healthcare in the early stages of the game, so why not save some money by reducing this service budget? The best value I've found so far is 62%, this will reduce the efficiency by half. It might be unclear, but in general, raising the taxes for industrial and commercial buildings to 15% or 16% is absolutely fine, I haven't seen them being closed because of that. As of happiness, who cares, right? Just kidding, it's pretty good in the end once you've set up everything. Lower the taxes for the most educated people to attract them without waiting for your education system to provide you with your own. You can raise the taxes for others. To save even more money, you can start producing your resources instead of importing them. There are many specialized industries that can do this. Place them and outline the zones to provide a variety of resources and reduce the expenses on almost everything your industry produces. Some signature buildings boost your export or production values, and to unlock them you must build several specialized industries of a similar type. But what if you don't need that many? The answer is simple – spam several small copies with small zones, unlock the signature building and get rid of them. The building unlocks permanently and costs no money, so feel free to place it right away to get those neat bonuses. Tourism serves as a mid to end game source of money. To get the maximum from it, unlock different parks and high density commercial zones to build hotels and cool places to visit. Then build airports, docks or train stations, connect them with external connections and set up passenger routes and enjoy your additional income from visitors, simple as that. Which money-making method looks the most broken and why? Let us know in the comments. I hope with this guide you have achieved what you were aiming for today. For more guides, simply visit my channel and consider subscribing, it's that easy. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.